this um, series of discussion. And in today's um, today's discussion, as I promised from the previous um, this series, the previous um, video, I will be showing you how to set up the Metal Trader Four. And for this particular series, for we'll be looking at it setting up the MT4 for an Android device. So the first first step is to go to the Play Store and then search for Metal Trader 4 and then you download but I don't have to download because I already have it on my device so once you download, once you install it comes straight up to your device as you can see which is on my on my right hand side on the right side of my screen so immediately I click the Metal Trader 4 it takes me straight on to the money making machine but right now I wouldn't, you wouldn't see anything here because I have not logged into to a broker. I've not registered. I've not logged in with a broker to 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 show me my demo account. So I believe I, I posted an account. I, I my a link in the previous video in which I expected you to have to to have um, done that. Click the link. Click on open a demo account. And I want to do that. They they send you a, a login detail, a confirmation for your to your email. So once you do that, you're going to have the details. You have the, you have a, a username and a password to, to access your demo account. So once you have that, we'll quickly go on to. Uh, I'll assume at this point that that you have it already. So now let's set it up. You see the first. You see the three, the three lines, the three stripes, by my by my right. I'm sorry, by my left, at the top left. So I'm going to click it straight here. It takes me to this and I'm going to get started click on the get started and then it takes me to this phase this is where I have to impute my my broker and my login details so you see the, the, the plus sign above I'm gonna click you click on the plus sign above up here and then you log in to an existing account because they already sent you your login details rally trade should have sent you your login details so immediately they send it to you, you click on login to an existing account. So once you do that, you search for them. You search for Rally Trade. Rally Trade. Now this is the Rally Trade iPhone MT4 demo. It's a demo. You're not you're not using real money now. So it's a demo. So you click on the demo. So once you have that, you're going to impute your details. What they sent to you on your email. Now, if if you're using the same device, I advise you copy and paste it so that you don't make a mistake. Copy and paste it so you don't make an error. But I'm not using the same device, so I have to I have to to type it out. So let's go on. So especially when when it's a default password that was sent to you, when it's something that you don't really hardly know. So it's advice you copy and paste so i just um impute my 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 details so here here you go so this is how much i have in my demo account one, approximately one hundred ninety six thousand naira big money yeah but unfortunately I, I, I can't withdraw it nobody can withdraw money from a demo as i try to explain the demo is is a dummy account it's as good as a real account it's just to practice to see if you can you can actually do this to see if you can make money with it so so this is it this is my account I believe you should also be seeing the same thing so now going on to setting it up you click the the quote the quote the quote which is um the first um, the, if you look below you see some icons here below so the first one this is the quote where you see all the currencies that you have so right now you have what well, the first step now is to delete all these currencies you you see here. So let's let's delete them. Then we'll add our own. So you press you click on the the pencil like icon on your top right. You click on it and then you have this option. You see the basket sign on the same top right, like a bin. You click on it and delete everything. Let's delete everything we have there. So once you delete that. We have a clean slate. Mine still has Euro USD because I have a a, a demo trade 
I had my chart is open for Euro USD, so it's still it's still there. So now we're going to add the currencies. Just come along with me. Let's add the currencies that I that I trade, the major currencies, the commodities, the stock, and the rest. So so now you you, you have to click on the the plus sign above to add the plus sign above to, to add currencies. So let's do that. Click on it. Now you see the second the second option majors fa or the second fold folder we'll click on it and then we we'll see the different made some major currencies so now let's add them up these are now you start with aud usd immediately you click it it goes straight to your quotes you won't see it here any longer so let's start with aud usd so i click that is out of here i wouldn't be clicking euro against the swiss france because i don't trade that so i'll leave that now the euro against the great britain pounds click on it it leaves there and goes straight to your quotes. Euro against J Japanese yen. Click it. The J Great Britain pounds against the US dollar. Click that. NZD against US dollar. Click. USD Canadian dollar. Click. US dollar against Swiss France. I don't trade that. I'm going to leave that out. If you want to trade it, probably if you've learned and you feel you're comfortable with it, you can as well come back and add it at any time. So I'm going to add, add the next pair, which is US dollar against the Japanese yen. I'm going to click that right away and it takes me it, it has so if you notice they've left here so let's go and check our quotes you can see them here now so they are all here they are all here you can see everything i added they are my quotes right now so now let's add some other some precious metal and some other commodities let's add um gold now if you look below you see precious metal the folder almost before the ending precious metal fl so click on it you see gold there's platinum here there's silver but i trade only gold so i'm going to click on gold gold leaves here and go straight to my quote you can see it at the bottom gold is here already so if i want to add any other commodity uh come i'll press on i'll also click on the plus sign above I come here and then um let's see what else can we add let's let's look for let's look for for oil let's look for oil so indices and commodities it is a commodities no, 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 this you can see so i clicked on indices and commodities fl1 the fourth folder once click on it you see various commodities there you can see sugar us50 you can see oil so i'm going to click on oil and it leaves here and goes straight to my quote oil is out of here so you can see oil down here so this is oil you can see the figures the figures beside it is the current price the current price you can see it's 27.27 dollars per barrel at the moment that is it so any other thing you want to add at any point is just to click on the plus sign above and add them you can play around it you can play around it look open every each of the open each of them and and see what what you have there deposits you can see click on all of them just play around it look at everything see what you have there here you have copper corn zinc cotton cocoa aluminium so at any time you want if you feel you can you, you can predict or you can analyze any of these other commodities their price remember we're trading price movement at any point you feel comfortable you can do it yourself you can as well you can just go there yourself and add it up so now that I've, I've almost set up my, my MT4, just, so I have all the currencies that I trade on the first icon below the quotes. So um, the next the next um, the next icon after the quotes is the chart. This is where you see the chart. This is where you see what is happening to the to any or any currency or any any pair that you wish to see. So this is Euro US. This is what's happening to it now. This is where the price is at the moment 1.08949 okay, and it keeps fluctuating so that is it then um so if you want to change you want to look at another another currency you go back to the quote <coughs> excuse me go back to the quote you click on any currency pair let me click on usd canadian dollar click on it it gives you these options you click on open chart and you see what's happening to it this is it this is what happens you see the chart for that particular currency for that particular commodity for that particular pair 
so that is it euro gbp as well you click on it you see open chat you see what's happening to euro gbp it's that simple to set up if you want to look at gold click on it open chat play around it look at just play around it on your own look at what happened look just look at all the charts now we'll talk about placing trades we haven't gotten to that stage but usually when you want to place a trade when you click on it you see new order that's the point where you have to either buy as you can see below buy or sell that basically is it so um well probably some of you might download it and your charts don't look like mine your charts don't look like mine it's a different color how do you change it if you want it to look like mine i would um, quickly run through that how do you change it to look like mine you click on those same three three lines three stripe above to your left click on it and then you see all of this you go to settings you can see settings below you click on settings it comes up you see the the various like you go go to colors go to colors and click on colors now you change you change you can change it you can see this now the background change it to white then the the candles we'll, we'll definitely get to a phase I think about my my the next it should, it should be the next lecture where I will tell us about different the candles what they mean I'll tell us about candles but because of um, well, I want everybody to set up their MC4 so you click you see the the bear candle the bear candle make it red and the bull candle make it green now it just looks like mine so basically as it I think that should be it I believe I've been able to run through the setup for the for the mt4 on an android device remember this is where you see all of that color to change your color to look like mine for for better identification so the first icon is the quote the second is the chart the third is your your it shows you what you have in your account oh sorry about that it shows you what you have in your account you can see the balance and then if you have any running trade this is where you also see it if you have any trade that is running okay let's let me quickly go and place a buy on euro against against us dollar a new order once i click a buy order has been placed in queue uh, it has i guess it's network that's why it's not it ought to have it's network my network is very slow oh no connection let me try that again let me try that again euro usd Oh, my network is horrible. That's why it's not showing the order. Well, so if I had placed that buy, it should have reflected here, just here. You see it that I am buying euro against US dollar. And then the next, the next icon is my history. It shows me what what happened. So, because of the, the discussion earlier, I actually placed, a, I pressed a buy, and and I had to close it. I had to close it. So that is it. This is the history. And then the fifth one. Basically, some news right now. There's no news update there, and then this one is um, charts, charts between traders. But I, I don't even use it. I don't use it. So that will be all for now. Remember to click the subscribe, the subscribe icon on this channel, so you get notification every time I release a new video. Next up, for those that use an iPhone, I'm going to release a video on how to set up your MT4 on an, on an iPhone device. And I probably might also set look at setup for